Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to talk about why working as an SRE can actually suck sometime. Being an SRE can be a dream job and I'm very lucky to have been doing this for over 10 years. But there are times, I mean, this job would actually suck and those are the reasons which I'm going to tell you in this video, right? So without wasting any time, let's start with number one, being on call. So. Being on call, I mean, if you're a DevOps or, a, or an SRE engineer, you would know that being on call is actually a part of your job description, right? So any company who's hiring an SRE or a DevOps engineer, they'll tell you that you have to be on call. It can be over weekend or it can be over weekday, right? And that is a time when all the escalations coming from the devs, coming from the support, professional services, customers, they are all just dumped on you. And there have been times in my career which where I actually haven't got time to eat my food because I was on call working on some or the other issue. So being on call actually sucks. And I even have a sticker on my laptop that says on call sucks. So in fact, it sucks, right? That's, that's the first reason which can actually make this job suck. All right, moving on. RCAs. So since you were on call, you would have incidents, right? you would have applications going down. And once you fix those incident, you fix the application, you fix uh, any issues, then comes the root cause analysis and the postmortem. So you are expected to provide to the higher management or to any specific team about the root cause of a particular incident. And you actually have to keep modifying it because probably they don't have the kind of understanding you have, uh, you probably write the best uh, RCA as per your understanding, but there are people, there are teams who don't understand it. And then you actually have to keep modifying your RCA and that takes time, right? To get a complete full RCA approved, it takes time and that can actually uh, frustrate you sometime. So writing RCAs is another pain uh, in this job, right? So as long as you are avoiding incidents, that's the best thing because RCAs can actually suck. All right. Moving on, number three, calls. So not on calls. So these are just the calls you have on a day-to-day -day basis. Since SRE is the core of uh, any operations, right? Any, any IT operations. So you actually have to talk to multiple stakeholders, multiple teams, support, dev, professional services, right? So you actually have to be in touch with a lot of stakeholders. And on an average, I mean, I have seen on an average, I get around five to six calls each day. And if you take in 30 minutes for every call, you are spending like three hours of your day just being sitting on Zoom, sitting on Google Meet and stuff like that. So you can imagine you have just, and, and as per uh, a study, uh, it is believed that a software engineer uh, actually works just for five hours in a day. So out of five hours, if you're, was if you're wasting, yeah, wasting three hours sitting on a Zoom call, on a Google call, Google Meet call, so you can imagine what kind of productivity you would give, right? All right, number four. Uh, I wouldn't say that this is uh, this is what makes the job suck. Uh, and this is not specific to SRE. This is, I think, uh, for IT in general, that you have to keep learning because technology is changing very fast in IT, right? And it's, it's IT is very different from any other field if you compare it. So in IT, uh, the older people are uh, looking down upon right people who have 25 30 years of experience they're they're looking down upon by their younger colleagues uh, if you talk about medical right in medical you would actually prefer to go to a doctor who has 25 30 years of experience right but in it it's just the opposite in it people and companies especially they prefer younger people uh, younger people who are who don't have family responsibilities right who don't have kids so they can actually concentrate more in in contrast to people who have kids who have families to look after right because then they have social ob uh, obligations as well right so that's one thing and the technology is changing very fast right there can be uh, there are texts basically which didn't exist five years back and there would be texts which will uh, come in next five years and you have to keep yourself updated just to be relevant in this industry so that companies uh, actually prefer you, right? Actually uh, even consider you relevant for the jobs. 
so that's another drawback and that's for and that's that's for it in general i mean even if you're a dev or your site reliability you're in customer support or any kind of job in it that's that's for everyone you actually have to keep learning throughout your career you can't stop learning the day you stop learning you'll become irrelevant in the industry very quickly so yes that's that's the point number 4 and i think that's that's pretty much it i have for this video i think uh, i've covered three major points uh, right rca on call and calls so those were the three major points of specific to i uh, sre and the last point was just in in general applies to it right so yeah that's that's it for this video i hope you like the video guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching